my most precious and beloved child. As I gaze upon you with infinite love and tender adoration, I am struck by the profound realization that you have no inkling, no conception of the breathtaking grandeur that lies beyond the veil of your finite existence. For you, my cherished one, are but a fleeting spark in the vast expanse of eternity, a temporary sojourner in a realm that is but a pale reflection of the cosmic majesty that awaits you. You have no idea of the resplendent glory that filled the celestial realms before the dawn of creation, when only the radiant light of my presence illuminated the fathomless expanse of eternity. In those primordial moments, before time itself took shape, a symphony of divine perfection reverberated through the celestial spheres, a melody so sublime, so transcendent, that even the highest choirs of angels could only gaze in hushed reverence. You cannot begin to fathom the ineffable splendor that erupted forth as I spoke the universe into existence, setting the celestial spheres in their majestic motions with but a whisper from my lips. With a mere thought, I breathed life into the cosmos, crafting galaxies and nebulae with the deft strokes of a master artist. Each celestial body, a brushstroke of divine brilliance upon the cosmic canvas, you have no inkling of the intricate tapestry that is woven into the very fabric of reality. The breathtaking complexity of a cosmos so vast, so infinite, that it defies the boundaries of human comprehension. From the farthest reaches of the universe, where galaxies swirl in an endless cosmic dance, to the subatomic realms, where the fundamental building blocks of existence reside. My hand has shaped and molded every aspect of creation with a precision and artistry that knows no equal. My child, you have no concept of the unfathomable depths of my love for you, a love that burns with an intensity that transcends the limits of time and space, a love that has existed from before the foundations of the world were laid. It is a love that knows no bounds, a love that is infinite and eternal, a love that will never falter or fade even in the face of your most grievous transgressions. You cannot begin to grasp the cosmic tapestry that has been unfolding since the first whispers of creation echoed through the vast expanse of eternity, a grand narrative that spans eons and encompasses the entirety of existence. Every moment, every event, every life that has graced this world has been carefully woven into the intricate threads of my divine plan a plan that is as inscrutable as it is breathtakingly beautiful, a masterpiece of cosmic proportions that defies the boundaries of mortal comprehension. You are oblivious to the depths of suffering I have endured for your sake, the agony I have willingly embraced to secure your redemption. When you wandered in the wilderness of sin and self-destruction, ensnared by the seductive whispers of the adversary, my heart broke with an anguish so profound, so visceral, that even the mightiest of celestial beings trembled in its wake. Yet, even as the weight of your transgressions threatened to crush me beneath their burden, my love for you remained steadfast, an unwavering beacon guiding you back to the shores of eternal salvation. My precious child, you are blind to the glorious future that awaits you a future that transcends the finite boundaries of this mortal existence and extends into the limitless expanse of eternity. A future where every tear will be wiped away, every sorrow banished, and the radiant light of my love will encompass you forevermore. A future where you will dwell in the sublime splendor of my heavenly kingdom, basking in the resplendent glory of my eternal presence bathed in the warmth of an everlasting love that knows no end. You have no conception of the cosmic grandeur that awaits you, the ineffable wonders that lie beyond the veil of your mortal perception. But fear not. For though the path may seem shrouded in mystery, I am with you, guiding you, leading you ever closer to the revelations that will unveil the true depths of my love and the boundless expanse of my eternal kingdom. If you want God's grace always upon you, then please consider to support our ministry by clicking thanks button. Trust in me, my beloved, 
For though you may feel lost and uncertain in this fleeting world, I am the way, you, the truth, and the life. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the eternal constant that spans the vast expanse of eternity. I am the creator of all that is, the architect of the cosmos, the author of the grand narrative that has been unfolding since before the first whispers of creation echoed through the celestial realms. You have no idea of the cosmic grandeur that awaits you, but I do. For I am the omniscient one, the all-knowing, the eternal wellspring of wisdom and knowledge from which all understanding flows. I am the one who has woven the intricate tapestry of existence, the one who has crafted the breathtaking masterpiece that is the cosmos, the one who has set in motion the grand narrative that will culminate in the ultimate triumph of my eternal love. So take heart, my child, and fear not the mysteries that lie ahead, for I am with you, always and forever, your loving father, your faithful friend, your eternal companion on this journey through the vast expanse of eternity. Though you may feel small and insignificant in the face of the cosmic grandeur that surrounds you, know that you are the apple of my eye, the object of my infinite affection, and the reason for which I have set in motion the grand tapestry of creation. You have no idea of the wonders that await you, but I do. And it is with a heart overflowing with love and a promise of eternal communion that I beckon you forward, ever closer to the glorious destiny that I have prepared for you since before the dawn of time. A destiny that will unveil the true depths of my love. A destiny that will reveal the cosmic grandeur that has been hidden from your mortal eyes. A destiny that will usher you into the sublime splendor of my eternal kingdom. So fear not, my beloved, for though the path ahead may seem shrouded in mystery, I am the light that will guide you through the darkness. I am the one who will unveil the cosmic wonders that await you. The one who will reveal the breathtaking tapestry of my eternal love. You have no idea, but you will, for I am with you, always and forever, your eternal father, your cosmic companion, and the one who will lead you into the glorious destiny that awaits you in the everlasting embrace of my love. My beloved child, I come to you today with an urgent message, a revelation I wish to impart that will unlock breakthroughs and blessings in your life. Lean in and listen. For the words I speak are spirit and life. For some time now, your heart has been heavy. I have seen the silent tears and heard the sighs as you've wrestled with difficulties that seem unrelenting. Perhaps you have even begun to question if I notice or care. You feel unseen and unheard. But I want you to know, my precious one, that your struggles have not gone unnoticed. I am the God who sees. Before a tear falls from your eye or a sorrowful thought crosses your mind, I am already there with compassion and love to catch you in my arms. Not for one second have I ever left your side. Even when the path grows dark and you cannot sense my presence, I remain. I will never forsake you. The challenges you face so faithfully grieve your father's heart. For what concerns you concerns me. I care because you are mine. I formed you in your mother's womb, fearfully and wonderfully made in my image. My child, will you believe my words over the lies of the enemy, who seeks only to steal, kill, and destroy? He is the father of lies, who plants seeds of hopelessness so that you question my goodness and give up on the plans and purposes I have for you. But his schemes will not prosper. Open your ears this day to hear my voice. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly troubles. I know the deepest desires of your heart, and I long to grant you divine revelation that brings clarity, direction, and sets into motion breakthrough. The enemy would love nothing more than for you to lose hope and turn away from me in anger. But take heart, for I have overcome the world and all its tribulations. Place your trust in me. Allow me to renew your spirit and refresh your soul. You may ask, 
What is divine revelation? It is insight from my very throne room, a glimpse into eternal mysteries, once hidden but now revealed by my spirit. Divine revelation peers behind the veil of what is seen with human eyes to what is unfolding in the supernatural, invisible realm. It is like looking at a tapestry from underneath, with chaotic threads and knots. But from above, a beautiful story emerges. When I grant divine revelation, you begin seeing reality from heaven's perspective, rather than earthly limitations. Situations are illumined in blazing light. Revelation brings clarity, vision, and understanding that empowers you to pray powerfully aligned prayers. I tell you that you have not because you ask not. How tragic that my children neglect to access kingdom blessings already purchased for them. But revelation fuels bold, specific petitions prayed from a posture of faith. It strengthens your capacity to believe I am who scripture says I am. A good father eager to pour out spiritual gifts if only you will ask. Divine revelation also exposes roots, strongholds, generational patterns, and blockages the enemy has used to restrict breakthrough in your life. I wish to set you free, my child. Therefore, I will reveal where the enemy has gained footholds, planted seeds of deception, and built walls between us. My revelation brings freedom and breakthrough. It shines light on paths long shrouded in darkness so you can walk in confidence, no longer stumbling. With revelation comes responsibility. Do not take lightly my glimpses behind the veil. When I grant divine revelation, I am inviting you deeper into my heart and purposes. I am entrusting you with keys to invisible realms, insight or information, if you will. Not all have eyes to see and ears to hear what I share with you. Therefore, guard these revelations as the most precious of gifts, more valuable than any earthly treasure. Ask my spirit to illuminate scriptures with fresh understanding. Be still before me and listen for my whisper. Write down the visions and dreams I pour out over you. Then boldly pray forth, my kingdom come, my will be done on earth as it is in heaven, based on these revelations. For truly I tell you, when I pull back the veil and reveal what was once hidden, nothing can hinder what I show you from coming to pass. Divine revelation holds three distinct markers, three promises you can stand upon with confident expectation. First, when I reveal something to you, it means I have already set its manifestation in motion in the spirit realm. Just as I spoke this world into being, so too have I spoken and decreed the revelation shown to you. My words do not return void but accomplish what I purpose and achieve the desired result. Therefore, when I grant divine revelation, what once seemed delayed or held up is suddenly released with momentum, carrying it swiftly toward fruition. Barriers crumble. Chains break. Red seas part before you. Recall when I revealed to my faithful servant Daniel events that would transpire over the course of future centuries. In the third year of Cyrus king of Persia's reign, Daniel entered into a season of fasting and intense seeking of my face. His heart broke with longing for spiritual renewal in Israel. He grieved their captivity and cried out for freedom from oppression. For three weeks, Daniel persevered in prayer until my dispatched angel came in response, saying, Do not be afraid, Daniel. I have been sent because of your prayers. A mighty heavenly host fought back demonic oppression, enacting delay after Daniel's revelation came. What was once held up? Israel's deliverance from captivity suddenly burst forth after this dedicated saint received divine revelation and set his heart to pray. The second result of divine revelation is this, plans of the enemy against you are overturned. Like Daniel, revelation will prompt you to fervent prayer as you set your face like flint in faith, believing my plans over the enemy's threats. Where revelation stirs up opposition, it also empowers you with foresight to thwart schemes. You will watch in awe as I cause adversaries to fall on their own swords, 
words spoken against you to boomerang back, void of power, and assignments of hell targeting your breakthrough to self-destruct. What the enemy threatened will be neutralized because now you have the capacity to see veiled motives and bless what opposes you, rather than engage or retaliate. My revelation dismantles traps before you stumble into them. My child, click on the join button to join us. As the cherished member of our community, the enemy knows if you grasp what I am unveiling. His plans against you crumble. Therefore, be vigilant, wise as serpents, yet gentle as doves, aware of his hatred toward awakened souls who walk in kingdom purpose. Though darkness attempts to smother the light and truth I reveal, dawn will break through night. What I have spoken, the revelation now illuminating your path, cannot be hindered. Finally, the third result of divine revelation is this. As you ask me for what I have shown you, as you pray forth my words aligned to my will, what once seemed impossible is pulled down from heavenly realms into your reality. Despite doubts, obstacles, or enemies, faith unlocked through revelation has a tenacity that refuses to relent or back down until what exists in unseen realms manifests visibly for all to see. Such prayers echo through eternity, long after you breathe your last. The bowls of heaven tip, the courtrooms of heaven overrule deadly verdicts with declarations of life and freedom. Divine reversals shift your circumstances in an instant, the moment you set your heart to pray. What I have revealed, so ask largely, my child, dream big with me, refuse to limit me based on earthly assumptions or best case scenarios. Have I not said, no eye has seen, no ear has heard the wonders I will unleash in response to hungry and responsive hearts? Do not fear you are asking too much. Heaven's reserves cannot dry up. One drop from my storehouses could fund a million lifetimes. Even if I showed you all that is yours in Christ, you do not have the capacity to steward the abundance I wish to pour into your life. Therefore, come boldly. Access these riches. Ask me for healing. Ask me for miracles. Ask me for wealth to fund kingdom building. I wish to unload blessing after eye-popping blessing until all gaps are overflowing with surplus. Prayer is the vessel that carries breakthrough from unseen into seen realms. Through prayer and decree, supernatural shifts unlock destiny, revive dreams, and transform reality. Lift your head up, beloved child. Rejoice, for this day you have heard the heart of the Lord your God, who delights in you with singing. I have revealed myself to you that you may know my thoughts and walk aligned to my ways. Now you understand, heaven responds to hungry, daring hearts with stunning displays of extravagant generosity. Take hold of this revelation. Let bold faith rise. Then watch as I shake everything that can be shaken until only an unshakable kingdom remains. Do you recall a dream I showed you? A glimpse beyond the veil of all that could be? Hold it carefully in your mind, for it was no accident or flight of fancy. By my design and intent, I drew back that veil even but for a moment, that you might see and set your heart to understand. What you glimpsed in that dream was merely a fraction, a small reflection of all the plans I have to prosper you. Plans not simply to give you a hope or a future, but to give you an inheritance of riches and glory beyond your wildest dreams. I have made you heir to it all, destined before the foundation of the world to receive the fullness of my blessings. But the enemy has erected roadblocks, seeking to hinder and prevent what I have already set in motion. He has opposed my plans from the very throne room of heaven, so it should be no surprise he attempts the same here on earth. Yet just as he was cast down there, so shall he be routed and defeated here. Through the authority I have given you, the battle belongs to me, and my angel armies stand ready according to my command. Use the authority I have invested within you, my child. The enemy's efforts are but a confirmation that your moment of breakthrough draws near. 
This opposition indicates how close you stand to the edge of the fulfillment of all I have revealed and promised. The enemy rages because he knows his time is short. So let your faith arise in the face of his futile attempts to block what heaven itself has ordained. The vision I showed you, the revelation of my heart, contained but a glimpse of my greater intentions. As you have set your heart to understand, humbling yourself before me in prayer, know that your words have already unlocked the release of blessing and breakthrough in the heavens. That release, even now, cascades toward you. Though unseen for the moment, take heart and stand firm. What I have spoken, I will bring to pass without delay. Can you not perceive it? Even now, arising on the horizon of your future, the dawn's first light peeking through as darkness recedes. It shall rapidly increase in substance and glory, manifesting the fullness of my promises faster than you dreamed. For this inheritance I am pouring out is no mere trinket, but the essence of my glory, intended to overwhelm you with joy unspeakable and full of glory. It shall testify of my goodness and unlimited abundance, silencing every lying voice that ever questioned my willingness to bless my children. As you walk into greater measures of my glory and blessing, be ever mindful that these gifts originate in my heart alone. I add no trouble to them, only joy and life in abundance. They come to lift you higher, to increase your capacity for more of my spirit, and to deepen your revelation of my love. They are but a reflection of my desire for you to know me in deeper and more profound ways. Worship me for who I am, not just for what I give. Yet receive these gifts expectantly and with thanks for they are the first fruits of all I have destined for you. They are but a foretaste intended to strengthen your faith for even greater manifestations of my goodness. This day, I call you to lift your gaze higher, to broaden your perspective and expand your capacity to receive from my hand. Limit me no longer by the smallness of your expectations or thinking. I have worlds to show you, glories to reveal realms of possibility to pull back the veil on that have thus far been hidden from mortal eyes. Come up higher, beloved, and begin even now to walk in the revelation of all that is to come. The past is but a faded memory compared to the brightness of the future path I unveil before you today. With rejoicing and praise upon your lips, enter joyfully into the abundance of the destiny I have prepared for you. The best and brightest of days stand stretched out ahead, my child. Take my hand and let me lead you into the greater glory. Here's the text with added punctuation. My beloved child, I have prepared for you, my child. Do not be deceived when the faithless appear blessed. Their end will prove their poverty. But for you who walk with me, I have laid up treasures beyond imagination, riches that will never fade, and pleasures that will not grow stale. Even now, I am preparing marvelous revelations for you, visions of my purpose that will set your heart ablaze. Come to me daily with an open and seeking heart, ready to receive all I have for you. Allow me to unlock my word to you, line after line, lifting you ever higher, opening your eyes wider to the wonders of my ways. Come dwell with me on the holy heights and gaze upon the heritage I have marked out for you from before time began. As you seek my face, I will pour out visions and dreams to guide your steps into the destiny I have prepared uniquely for you. I will send forth my messengers to clear the path before you and bring to fulfillment all I have spoken over you. For I watch closely over my word to perform it without delay. It will not return to me void but will succeed fully in accomplishing my plans for you. Have you not read how my servant Moses met with me on the mountaintop? How I drew near to reveal my glory? The pattern has not changed, my child. Still today, I bid you come up here and behold the wonders your God has ready to unveil. Do not doubt because the fulfillment tarries, for soon you will behold with unveiled face the majesty of all I have set in place for you. The enemy, for all his bravado, remains an interloper and a pretender, one who has already been conquered and evicted. 
Therefore, suffer no anxiety because of his harassment or opposition. My purpose is in you, his efforts are impotent. I have stripped him of all authority in the lives of my children. Indeed, the devil has already been forcibly shown his proper place beneath your feet. Keep this always in your remembrance, my child, for you share in my authority and the certain triumph I have secured. You need only take your stand on my unchanging word to see the adversary flee from before you. Therefore, lift your head and stand tall. Beloved one, you have been raised with Christ and are even now seated with him in the heavenlies. All things have been put under your feet, from your position of victory. Laugh to scorn the futile assaults of your defeated foe. Remind that serpent of old that he has no choice but to serve and worship me his rightful master, and do my bidding. Take hold of the authority that is yours in me, for you are my heir and the enemy must yield before you. So fear nothing he brings against you, for his weapons are powerless to block my marvelous intentions toward you. Instead, keep your eyes fixed on me and the glorious future I am preparing. I will show you who you truly are in me, your identity rooted in my unchanging nature and my extravagant love for you. I will open the eyes of your heart until you see yourself as I see you, as my precious child in whom I am well pleased. For this is truth that no one and nothing can take from you. I paid the ultimate price to secure this inheritance for you, so doubt not its certainty. As you yield more fully to my spirit moving upon your life, Past limitations and obstacles will vanish before the force of my will and purpose being revealed in you. Doors once barred shut will swing open at my command. Chains that have bound you will slip effortlessly away, powerless to hold back the tidal wave of my destiny fulfilling in your life. Take the hand I extend to you this day, my beloved child, and let me lead you into the broad place of freedom and abundance I have been preparing for you. The old restrictions and confinements will be forgotten, drowned out by your joyful laughter. Together, we will venture into the vast horizons of my purpose, traveling paths of adventure beyond your boldest dreams. I have so much life and joy to impart to you. As I open my hand toward you this day, receive from me garments of praise to replace your spirit of heaviness. Be enveloped in the robes of righteousness I provide exchanging ashes for beauty and despair for celebration of life. From this day forward, you will be called Oaks of Righteousness, my planting to display my splendor. No more will you be termed forsaken. No longer will you summon grief as your closest companion, for I am taking your hardship and loss and redeeming it for double recompense and everlasting joy. I will turn your mourning into dancing again. Therefore, Lift your head in expectation to welcome the bright morning star arising in your heart. Glimpse the first rays painting the horizon and know your liberation is imminent. Where darkness once gloomed, radiance shall now gleam. I will lavish my grace upon you in ways you have not known. I am lifting you up, raising you high to abide with me in the secret place. I will show you things to come. Revelations of my purposes that have awaited the proper hour. As you dwell in my sanctuary, you will hear my voice clearer and gain understanding that unlocks new realms of faith and authority for you. Yes, my child, even greater works shall you do because I go now to prepare a place for you, a place where we will commune and you will learn deeper mysteries of my person and my ways. I will cause you to ride upon the heights of the earth through thick and thin through sun and rain. I go before you to make the rough places plain. I will turn darkness to light wherever you tread, for I am the Lord your God who leads you, the Holy One of Israel who has saved you for my glory. You are my particular treasure, my special possession. I will be your God throughout your days, guiding your steps and charting your course. My eye is fixed upon you for good. You are shown favor and honor in my sight for nothing can thwart my intentions or block my purposes toward you, beloved child. I have marvels in store you have not fathomed. Such glorious revelations await you as we walk this journey hand in hand. 
Together, we will venture into realms of possibility outside your wildest imaginings. As your soul thrills to the wonders I disclose, you will gain insight into my great heart of love for you and the power that is yours because you are mine. Limiting mindsets that once constrained you will vanish in the light as my spirit unveils to you wondrous glimpses of the vast destiny I have prepared. As you gain understanding of my love for you, your limitations will be shattered, your perspective expanded, and vision transformed. Yes, my child, I have a vast inheritance reserved for you since before time began. Do not despise your humble beginnings, for they are the fertile soil from which will spring revelation and authority that the entire host of heaven has awaited. The fullness of time has come for the seeds I have planted in your life to break forth. Revelations of your noble identity in me will bear abundant harvests of destiny as you embrace your true worth in my sight. What I speak over you now is what I have prepared for you, beloved one. The glimmerings you have now glimpsed will pale in comparison to the full brilliance soon to break forth. What I have spoken through my spirit until now has been but a whisper. Soon shall resound the shout of the King in your midst, and as your yearnings intensify for deeper realms in me, I will draw you further up to behold vistas unexplored. I will awaken desires you have not known to venture with me into new frontiers of faith and demonstrate my power on your behalf. Miraculous wonders will burst forth, surpassing any witnessed before, as my glory intensifies around you. Increasingly, my presence will envelop you, birthing revelations that bring radical transformation. Divine potentials will stir within you, elevating your spiritual authority as our unity deepens. Your hunger for more will sharpen for I am leading you into deeper realms of partnership to establish my kingdom purposes across many lands. The radiance of my light and glory seen upon you will serve as a beacon, guiding the lost homeward. You will shine ever brighter into the darkness, illuminating the night's gloom with the brilliance of my day star rising in and through you. Though the hour of shaking has come, you will find strength in quiet confidence. As your light steadily increases, your words will become a fountain of refreshing and renewal to weary hearts. And as the darkness escalates with age, my light within you will intensify even more. You will not dread the night, but eagerly anticipate it as a setting for my glory's awakening upon you. Radiance will emanate with increasing intensity, capturing the attention of many. My arising within you will bring clarity to confused souls stumbling in the darkness. Rise up and shine with fervor, ignited by my spirit ablaze within you. No darkness will intimidate you, for my fire will embolden you to declare my word that sets captives free. Blind eyes will be opened, and prisoners released from their bondage, even those ensnared by religious doctrines and rituals. I have anointed and empowered you to pour new wine into old wineskins, bursting with traditions draining life. You are affirmed as a lion warrior, lifting high my banner and leading the victorious charge in my righteousness alone. Forge ahead into new realms of identity and authority, reserved for such a time as this. Our unbroken communion will solidify covenant bonds that withstand chaos. Your access to my heart's plans and possessions will equip you to shine ever brighter into the deepening night. Fear not, for there are no limits to how high and far I will propel you. Together, we will traverse uncharted territories, unveiling marvels beyond imagination. I will feed you with the heritage reserved for this generation, revealing purposes hidden from ages past. Child, are you willing to ascend to greater heights than ever before? Further and faster into new, unprecedented places in my spirit, the path is open before you. For I, the conquering king, lead the way. Beloved, anticipate greater wonders than you have ever witnessed, for I will unveil revelations long awaited by all of heaven. Stay close to me as we ascend together, and you will witness marvels beyond expression. The long-awaited outpouring draws nearer. As heaven leans in with eager anticipation, 
The climax of history is upon you, rejoice, for your redemption is near. The darkness of sin and sorrow retreats before the advancing dawn. Healing and joy arise with the dayspring, filling the earth with the knowledge of my glory. There are no limits to this era of divine visitation. The planet awaits the great outpouring. As ordained from old, history culminates now. The hour has come. Ascend and take your place. My child, click on the subscribe button to be part of our community.